What's up, Journeyers? We're in beautiful Golden, British Columbia, and we're gonna show you guys the top things to do while you're here. Let's check it out. Thank you to Golden Tourism Board for sponsoring this video and having us out to their beautiful area to showcase some of the top things to do, not only in Golden, British Columbia, but in all of Canada. This area is beautiful and has so much to offer. Let's get right into the list. All right, Journeyers, easily one of the top things to do in Golden, British Columbia is the Golden Sky Bridge. This is an adventure park with two massive suspension bridges, rock climbing, a whole ropes course, zip line, a giant canyon swing, and so much more. You are definitely going to want to come here. I'm very excited to show you guys what it's all about. Let's check it out. The Golden Sky Bridge is an adventurer's paradise. If you long to see everything Canada has to offer, the Golden Sky Bridge embodies what Canada truly is all about. Located only a few minutes from downtown Golden, it is easily accessible from the main highway that runs through the town and has plenty of parking to accommodate lots of visitors. The main highlights are the two suspension bridges, an alpine coaster, zip line, ropes course, canyon swing, and so much more. One of the suspension bridges is the highest suspension bridge in all of Canada at 426 feet high over the Columbia Valley. After you cross the bridge, you can head to the Canyon Edge Challenge Course, which is a fantastic ropes course sitting high above the trees and is good for all ages. This course will take you through several challenges and zip lines throughout your adventure. From the Canyon Edge, you can make your way to the zip line. The zip line is easily one of the most exhilarating things to do at the Sky Bridge. It is a thousand foot zip line, over 500 feet in the air. I had an absolute blast doing this and felt completely safe doing it. Their staff follow every safety measure you would need to be kept safe while having a great time. It also boasts the best view of the whole park as you stand tall in the tower overlooking the entire canyon. The final stop on my adventure pass was the Alpine Coaster, my favorite thing to do in the park. It was extremely exhilarating and my favorite part was how long the coaster was. I immediately wanted to do it again right after finishing. The best way to experience the Golden Sky Bridge in my opinion is to get the adventure pass. The ticket covers multiple activities in the adventure park and you won't feel like you're being nickeled and dimed for each activity you do. It does not include all activities in the park, but in my opinion, it's the best bang for your buck. We did put a link to purchase your adventure pass in the description below. Golden BC is smack dab in the middle of six national parks, all within a few hours drive of downtown. This leaves you with the unbelievable opportunities to see some of the most beautiful sights in all of Canada with Golden as your home base. The closest park is Yoho National Park, which is literally 15 to 20 minutes from downtown Golden. These are a few of the top spots in Yoho. First is Emerald Lake, a gorgeous lake that you have to see to believe the colors. It's so peaceful in the morning. On the same road to Emerald Lake is Natural Bridge, just a few minutes off the main highway. Take a look at this marvel as the river has carved a natural bridge into the rocks. My suggestion is to come at sunrise, as the crowds will be light and you will get beautiful colors beaming down onto the rocks and water. One of the most impressive waterfalls in all of Canada is Wapta Falls, an absolutely enormous waterfall with extraordinary power behind it. The hike to the waterfall is three miles out and back and is not incredibly difficult. It's worth every step when you stand underneath and witness the power of the river falling down this waterfall. It is a must when in Golden. One of the most underrated things to do in all of Golden British Columbia is the Columbia Wetlands Outpost. The mighty Columbia River runs through Golden British Columbia on its way to the Pacific Ocean, and just outside of the city is the Columbia Wetlands. It's a gorgeous hotspot for fishing, kayaking, canoeing, bird watching, and wildlife viewing. The best way to experience this area is by going to Columbia Wetlands Outpost and renting one of their kayaks and heading out onto the water to see the beauty for yourself. I was the only one on the water when I went, and I can't describe the peace and tranquility I experienced while out there. If you are inexperienced in kayaking, I would suggest doing a guided tour as this is a big, strong river and you will feel more comfortable in the river with the guide. There are also tons of hikes and other things to do in the area, so make sure you take some time hanging out at their launch pad because the entire area is truly majestic. All right, Journeyers, the next top thing to do when you are in Golden, British Columbia is to come over to the Kicking Horse Resort and check out the Grizzly Bear Interpretive Center. This is by far one of the most unique things in Golden, British Columbia, and it is the world's largest enclosed and protected grizzly bear habitat. 
This grizzly bear refugee is where resident orphan grizzly bear Boo lives in place. As a visitor, you can come right to the enclosure and learn how they take the research and tools they have used to help save Boo and use it to rehabilitate other orphan grizzlies found in the Canadian wild. I can't express how much information I learned on this tour. It was incredibly eye-opening to see how smart grizzly bears are and how they adapt to their environment. The relationship the staff has with Boo and how they take care of him is something to truly behold. Boo is an absolute rock star and worth being celebrated and treasured. It's important to have research facilities like this to help preserve these amazing creatures. We have linked the tickets to experience this once in a lifetime opportunity where you can get up and close to a full grown male grizzly and see what day to day life is like. Golden is filled with hidden gems that nobody knows about and here are some of those top spots. First on the list is Mount Seven, a beautiful mountain overlook with the best view of the entire area for sunset. This was easily one of the best sunsets I have ever seen in my entire life. You can see mountains as far as the eye can see with beautiful rivers converging into the Columbia River. This is easily a top thing to do while in Golden. The next stop that you have to check out is Cedar Lake, a gorgeous lake that is lesser known and will give you some beautiful peaceful moments. There's a campground right next to the lake so you can camp here, but I came for a beautiful evening hike and was blown away by the mountains in the background with the gorgeous lake. Make sure to bring your bug spray though, you will need it for sure in this area. The next stop is Downtown Golden and its beautiful bridge called the Kicking Horse Pedestrian Bridge. It is the longest freestanding timber frame bridge in Canada. It was built in 2001 from locally sourced timbers and it spans the beautiful Kicking Horse River. And it's the perfect spot to go on a walk after visiting one of the many delicious restaurants in Downtown Golden. The last local spot to hit up that I consider a hidden gem is Thompson Falls. This is a spectacular hike to a gorgeous waterfall. It is a seven mile out and back trail that will take you along the Blaeberry River. It is a beautiful area and I only saw one person while I was there. The roaring water cascading onto the rocks will make you feel the power of the river. It's truly unforgettable. The last top thing to do in British Columbia is to go rafting with Glacier Raft Company. This is the premier rafting company to take you down the Kicking Horse River in Golden, BC. This will be an adventure of a lifetime and something you won't soon forget. To me, it was one of the best ways to truly feel and understand what Golden, BC is all about. You'll be dropped deep down river and they will guide you through class three and four rapids all the way back into town where you will get out of the river right before an extremely dangerous section of the river. The guides are extremely knowledgeable and will make your experience something you won't forget. There are options for all ages, so don't be worried if it's too intense for you. They can take you to different parts of the river for all levels of experience. I cannot recommend Glacier Raft Company enough to experience what BC is all about. It truly is a wonder of the world.
Thanks for watching, Journeyers. Make sure to subscribe and give us a big like on the video. If you're looking to book any of the activities we mentioned in the video, we put the links in the description below. Let us know what your top things are to do in Golden BC. We're curious to know. And who knows? Maybe next time we'll come to your town and show you the top things to do. See you next time, Journeyers. Peace.